the terror network of Brussels and its central figure, Salah Abdeslam. For months, the French national had been hiding in the Belgian capital after officials accused him of participating in the Paris attacks last November. Just days before the bombings in Brussels, police arrested Abdeslam, but during questioning, he revealed no information on the planned attacks. Abdeslam held close contact with all four of the Brussels bombers. The two brothers, Khalid and Ibrahim Bakaoui, were already wanted by international authorities. But Belgian police failed to arrest them during a series of raids in Brussels. Last week, both brothers blew themselves up during the attacks. The younger one, Khalid, in a metro station where 14 people died. The third attacker, Naim Lachaoui, had received bomb-making training in Syria. He was a key figure in the group. Lachaoui's fingerprints were also found in an apartment used to assemble a suicide vest for the Paris bombings. He died at Brussels airport along with 17 civilians. There's a fourth, as yet unidentified person. He was also at the airport but unable to detonate his explosive device. His whereabouts are still unknown and Belgian authorities face growing pressure to deliver on the investigation. The situation in, in, in Brussels is still going on. Uh, there are still a lot of investigation now in Brussels. Uh, so it's maybe too early to say it's finished. Finally, authorities suggest that both Abdeslam and Lachaoui had been in regular contact with this man, Abdelhamid Abaoud, the mastermind behind the attacks in Paris. Abaoud was raised like Abdeslam in Molenbeek, a suburb of Brussels which has become notorious for radicalization. An active terror cell spanning both France and Belgium, according to experts, a network of 40 to 50 individuals. Some are now dead, two are at large, up to 15 in prison. Authorities say how many others are still active in the background is unclear.